Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Hu, President and CEO of Moffitt Cancer Center and CITSI President. We're here at the 37th annual meeting of CITSI in Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm here with Dr. Peter Forsyth, Head of Neuro-Oncology at Moffitt Cancer Center. Dr. Forsyth, thanks so much for oh, stopping by to see us. Thank you, appreciate it. Great. It's a great meeting. Well, you've been doing some great work and uh, you have a very interesting poster on leptomeningeal disease, which is when the um, cancer comes and, and bathes the spinal cord and uh, cerebral spinal fluid. So tell us about uh, that disease and what your work is about. Yeah, so leptomeningeal disease is where the tumor cells spread in the spinal fluid, as you mentioned. It's a, it's a pretty nasty disease, so patients live only two or three months following the diagnosis. So it's something that we really need to work on, as you know, as an unmet medical need and a big challenge. So the thing that we're working on is using these dendritic cells that Dr. Zunicki uh, designed and raised against uh, little proteins that are on the surface of the tumor cells. So we inject them directly into the spinal fluid and they uh, find the tumor cells that are floating around the CSF and kill them and most of the mice, like 80% have a long-term survival. So it's really very encouraging. The other thing it does is if we take mice that are cured after we've cured the mice that are got the dendritic cells, when we try to reintroduce the cells later, they won't take. So it suggests there might be a secondary prevention strategy. So if we can look after things, hopefully it'll be kind of one and done as opposed to just being at risk to come back. And we're sorting out what the mechanism is now, so that's pretty exciting. I think the other reason to be excited is there should be a clinical trial opening in a month or so. So it's just a fantastic opportunity, which I know you love doing, of taking stuff in the lab and doing it in the clinic and trying to make a difference and then using tissue uh, and taking it back to the lab and seeing if we can figure out how it works in people. And just the, op the opportunity to give hope to these patients is really important. It's really exciting. Well, it's a really important unmet clinical need. Yeah. So your trial will be uh, putting dendritic cells pulsed with antigens into the yeah. cerebral spinal fluid yep. through an Amaya reservoir? Yep. Wow. And what antigens are you going to use? Are you going to use the um, uh, HER2 antigens? Yeah, there's, uh, let's see, six or eight HER2 antigens, HER2 peptides, and uh, HER3 peptides, too. And it's thought that these dendritic cells will go into the cerebral spinal area and activate T cells. Right. What? So we need to figure that out. So on other work, we want to see if we can label T cells in the mouse, which is something, and see if we can watch them move in there and see if they go through the uh, lymph nodes, as one would predict, or not, and see how much systemic activation there is. So we really need to figure out the details. Now, there's also a specialized structure, the uh, CSF lymphatics, that we really need to understand. They're kind of closed in most older mice anyway, so they might be closed in older patients. So they might impair the ability to deliver the antigen back to the cervical lymph nodes. So we'd really like to figure that out. So I guess it's still not clear whether the dendritic cells will meet the T cells in the cerebral spinal fluid right. or in the cervical right. lymph nodes. Exactly, we don't yeah. know yet, so we need yeah. to figure that out. Well, that's very exciting work. Well, yeah. good luck with your clinical trial. Thank you. Here we have Dr. Peter Forsyth, head of neuro-oncology at Moffitt Cancer Center. Thanks so Great much for being with us. Thank you.